Hi, it's Gordon at Overlight, and I'm going to take you through using the intensity view on your console. The intensity view can be accessed in two different ways. Soft key F always opens workspace window. So I can open the workspace window called intensity view. The other way to get to it is by tapping your open slash view button and tapping intensity on your attribute bank. What we've got here is a an intensity view. This can be moved around and made whatever size you'd like, the same as you'd expect with any other window inside Titan. You can see here, I've got a playback called look one. As I bring this up, I can see exactly what fixtures are being controlled by look one, what intensity they are as well. This intensity view has got a handy little color scheme. If there is a pink or purple bar down the left hand side, then it's being controlled by a playback. If there is a blue value there, then it's a value that's faded up. What you can do in the intensity view is you can select some of your lights directly from this view. You can see there I've dragged the box over these spots. And if I start turning their intensity down, you can see that they are green with an arrow facing down. This means that that value is going down. If I record a shape on some of these fixtures and fire that shape, then you'll be able to see more information as well. In the context menu of this intensity view, I can view if, which is quite a handy feature, say I'm not sure what fixtures are programmed in this look one. If I tap view if and then select the blue swap button of this playback, it will just show me if these fixtures are in look one. And you can add multiple view ifs as well, if you'd like. You can see at the top of the screen there, I've got if look one, if look two. Down the left hand side, you've got your normal fixture filters. So I can clearly see that fixtures that are in look one and look two are just these 100 LED beams and those BMFL blades. You can sort by a user number via the last fixture you selected or via the DMX address as well. There's a few more options in there, but give it a go next time you're programming a show and see how you get on. Thanks for watching and tune into the next one.